previously on Doki Doki Night Nurse. I shakily placed my hand on the knob. I once again gently opened the door. What? I don't know who the hell you are, but I want you out of my sight. No, 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 no. Did you find something, Kota? I hate this. I hate to say this, Sayori, but I think Finn ran off with the other you. No, no. As I try to step down from the window, Sayori pushes me out of the way and tries to look out of the window in vain for Finn. Finn, where are you? Come back! Please come back! Several weeks have gone by ever since the strange encounter with Sayori's evil twin and her abduction of the Lurcher Club. I would like to say things slowly return to normal, but I cannot. Heaven knows those are the words I would like to say to describe things, but that would be a lie. He never returned home, nor he, was he ever seen again. I told my father somewhat about what happened, and we kept in mind to keep track of anything that could have led to him. There were rumors that someone matching his description was seen at a ra rather shady chapel, eloping with a girl that looked like Sayori, but then the trail went cold afterward. It was a very dark and depressing day when Sayori did not come back to the come back to school for a few days just after the last time I visited the other girls. I later learned from cousin Yuri that it was because Sayori had sadly taken her own life. I was devastated upon hearing this news. Someone dares to speak my name. The descendant of a traitor nonetheless. How interesting. I did not expect to see her get involved. I must keep this in mind for the future. I would say that this dark copy of the other young woman proved to be quite useful and my experience was quite a success. Perhaps she did not turn out as much to, as much of a worthless creation as I hypothesized. Excellent. Most excellent indeed. Oh my. Bad ending. My favorite game. Maybe. Just maybe. I can, I still can do this. Here goes nothing. Let's go. Here he goes. Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? Oh yes, it does! Oh, thank you, watch! Alright, let's do this. Um... Oh, it's time to make things right. Also, um, you know what? Let's King Crimson straight through it. So, King Crimson! Okay, here we are. I know last time I did not resist, but not anymore. I've already seen it, because I'm from the future. Hey, are you trying to get away from me? You know that's only going to make me hold on even tighter, Finn. <laughs> Although, if that's the way you want to play this, then I won't turn you down. True to her word, she moves closer to me and, and begins to embrace me even tighter than before. Sayori? This is... You won't get a say in when it, whether I help you or not, or what I do to help you. You're just too humble to realize what a great person you are and how much you mean to me. There's no need to be re awkward around me, Finn. It's just the two of us here. No one can judge us or tell us it's wrong to be together like this. We don't have to hold anything back anymore. Well, I mean, we're... we're not. Oh, what's the matter? Is someone scared of having a girl hugging him on his bed? You know that's not what I'm getting here, Sayori. I know deep down that you love it, Finn. I bet your heart is over the moon right now. You sure win that bet. Still though, none of this feels right. At least, I don't think it does. I hate to admit, but I am kind of enjoying this more than I should be right now. Considering how long I've wanted to confess to her, I'm practically on cloud nine right now. What are you talking about? Come on, Finn. We only known each other for most of our entire lives. I think I know more about you than you think. For starters, I still remember when you had that huge crush on that one blonde singer lady. 
What was your name again? Hey, 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 don't go talking about that. Blonde singer lady. I don't know who that is. We, we don't need to go bringing up old stuff. You know how that makes me feel. Well then, I rest my case. How about I remind you of how you used to be scared of Gumby when we were little? Oh, Gumby. That doesn't leave this room. And neither does that old secret crush. Fine. Anyway, I also happen to know that you absolutely love my hugs. I think right now the best thing for you is my warm, loving hugs. Trust me on this. That look on her eye. It's almost like the gaze of a predator. She's not wrong, but I do want to give in to this unbridled desire. I can do that. I shouldn't. Sayuri, listen. Hush now. Don't stop trying to move away from me. You're only going to make it worse on, on by putting so much stress on yourself. Not only that, but do you not like my hugs anymore? What? Sayori, it's not that. I mean, the fact you're trying, you're denying my love embrace and all my attempts at making you feel better. It's like you're hurting me inside. After what I've done for you, Finn, you're going to hurt my feelings? Do you hate me now? Please, don't leave me this way, Finn. Dang it! No, Sayori! I wish I could tell her, but come on. Sorry, Sayori. I don't want your hugs because I feel like I, there's something wrong with you. I don't want your hugs. Because of course, I already know who you are. I'm going to sound like a complete basket case and a huge jerk. N no, you have it all wrong. It's just, I don't even know how to tell you what I'm feeling right now. So, you don't hate me? Sayori, I could never hate you. If anything, I'm always worried that I'm going to do something that make you hate me. I mean, it seems like I always mess up everything one way or another. Like, right now. You don't hate me. That's a relief. Why don't we both just calm down and take a little breather now? Yeah, I guess we could use it. As I begin to relax my body, Sayori clamps herself around me once again. What in the... Embrace the hug, Finn. Do not resist. You're awfully clingy today. Literally. Oh boy. What's wrong? Aren't you comfortable with us being in bed like this? Actually, no, I'm not. Especially when you say it like that. Come on, shy boy. You know you want to. She's not wrong, but if I didn't know any better, it's like she's trying to seduce me. I know I want to confess my love to Sayori, but I don't want to confess her like this. I try again in vain to move away from her, but she managed to drag me closer to my pillow. She then brings my head to her chest. Oh great, as if I wasn't already bothered and hot right now. I've dreamed of this moment for the longest time, Finn. You have no idea. You and me alone like this, sharing a bed and enjoying each other's company. Oh, right. I nearly, nearly forgotten that time I referenced my favorite mod since that... I am so mad at myself right now. I'm so happy I could feel like I could fly right now. You're not the only one. You know, right when you joined the club? Glob, I can't believe I'm going to admit this. What is it? Well, after you join, it's like my heart was doing cartwheels in my chest. Or doing doki doki. <laughs> Shut up. Ugh, sorry. Ever since that day, I go to bed every night with these thoughts in my head. The thought of me and you just like this. Me and you. Sayori storms her fingers up my arm slowly, breaking her way up to my shoulder. She still has me pressed against her chest with her other arm as she does this. Just to lie in bed with you and have your arms around me. I can't believe this is finally happening. Meanwhile, I still can't believe this is happening. Me too, my glob, I really need to change this fast. This, this seriously feels like one of my dreams. 
as I try to break away from Sayori's grasp, I feel a pinch on my thigh. Youch! See, Finn? You aren't dreaming. This is real. Face it, Tiger. You've hit the jackpot. Sayori, I'm sorry, but this doesn't feel right. What do you mean? I... I love you, Sayori. I'm sorry, but I feel like I really want to puke right now, but... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I really do. Dang it, you have no idea how much, but... But? What's the problem? You're clearly feeling it too. Our love is growing stronger, Finn. This isn't how I pictured things going for us. If anything, I wanted to be the one to confess to you. And not when either of us is in a vulnerable state like right now. This just feels... so... hollow. If I act now on your advances, I almost feel like I'd be taking advantage of you. No, silly. You know that's not it. I truly want to be more than just friends with you. Holding onto you like this only shows how much I love you and how much I want to spend the rest of my life with you. She tries once again to draw me closer to her. I swear, what has gotten into this girl? Me too, considering that I had to go back in time for this. <sighs> you know what? Let's, let's, let's keep it down for a little bit and go with the flow. That's right, just, just, just go with the flow for now and then suck her right into the face. Having you here in my arms, safe from the outside world, you feeling my breath going down your neck. This is the closest we've ever been to each other, Finn. I never want this moment to end. Have you forgotten that I have a cold? How are you okay with this? Even we haven't made it official, it's like we've already boyfriend and girlfriend. The way I've been taking care of you and snuggling up with you so romantically like we are right now. It's like a real dream come true. Can you even hear me right now? Sayori, it's time to get out of Lollipop Land and listen to me. I think we missed a few steps somewhere along the line, so would you mind taking it down a notch? I think you're going a bit too far here. What do you mean, too far about a relationship? Don't you want me to be your girlfriend? I'd be lying if I said I didn't, Sayori. It's like I said before, I love you. You have no idea how long I've wanted for you to accept my feelings and tell me you felt the same way. Then, what's the problem? The problem is that none of this feels right. You haven't been acting like your usual self lately and I'm deeply concerned. I'm not going to take advantage of you if you're this emotionally vulnerable. Well, let's just say I had an epiphany one day. That was when I realized I couldn't sit on the sidelines anymore. It was tearing me apart inside watching the other girls get closer to you, especially Monica. I couldn't sit by and let anyone take you away without at least trying to win your heart. Oh, and also I remember that I could not remember Monica. This bitch. This bitch. This bitch really needs to be arrested. So, just like that, you just... <laughs> I guess you could say that. I'm not emotionally invulnerable, Finn. This is how I felt for the longest time. I just hidden all that from you. The fact that I'm here, taking care of you like this? Would you say that I'm a keeper because of how much I'm willing to be there for you? I doubt you'll find anyone else who will love you more than I do. Ugh. I know you're right. I tear myself away from Sayori and sit on my bed. Yet something just doesn't feel right about you. Oh, I still have my suspicions on you, little lady. I can't put my finger in it, but I know something wrong is here. You said it to yourself, Finn. You wanted me to be your girlfriend for the longest time. Maybe you were just too scared to say it to me. The only thing off is that we're taking the first step in our new relationship. Yeah, well, I didn't want to confess to you and ruin our friendship if you didn't feel the same way. 
I would rather have kept my feelings from you and still have you as a friend than tell you to make you stop talking to me forever. I know it must be super hard for you, Finn. You have no idea, Sayori. Especially when the guy is the one that's supposed to make the first move. I just couldn't, though. I could never get a read on one out, whether or not you saw me that way. Well, sometimes it's up to the girl to make that first move if she loves the guy, just in case he can't get a read on her. You don't have to be scared or hesitant or hes hesitate to around me anymore. Yes, I want to be your girlfriend. We're a couple now. See? Super easy, right? Is it? Really? Is it now? You know that I... You know that I know that you want this, Finn. Um, what was the last thing you said? In the middle thing? In the first time? <sighs> You're so clueless sometimes. What would you do without me, Finn? You've always been the nervous type, Finn. I know it's sometimes hard for you to get out of your comfort zone and say what you want. Yeah, but in most cases, no one wants to hear what I have to say or they think I'm some kind of nuisance. Kind of like how I spent the first week or so in the club thinking Natsuki wanted to kill me in my sleep. Wow, Natsuki. Natsuki, I swear to God, if you're going to kill me in my sleep. No, just, 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 no, no. Well, Finn, I can see right now that you're not a bother to me. I want you to stay. I want you to stay right here with me. So stop running away from love. Sayori gets up and clings to me like a little child. Her face is riddled with cons with confusion and concern. I honestly feel like I'm still dreaming. I already pinched you, though. I know, but still. Well, even if this is a dream, you're not just going to wake up and say you don't love me, right? You and I are going to be together for the rest of our lives, right? Her confused expression changes to one of worry. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. One of us can seem to tell the difference and between real life and fantasy, but I don't know who anymore. Is it her? Is it me? Why is it hard, so hard for me to accept this? Oh boy. Deny her love, play along and don't break her heart. You already guys knew. You already guys knew my purpose as to why I had to turn back time. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I take her arm off me and tear myself away from her chest. I practically jump off my bed, my body facing toward her. What are you doing, Finn? We were ha having such a nice time snuggling together. You can't just get up and leave me like this. I can't? Watch me. Finn, there's no reason for you to get to play hard to get with me. No, you're not the boss of me, Sayori. This is still my house and I think I should be able to do what I want for the most part. I know you're trying to get... I know you're trying to help me get better, but this senseless cuddling isn't getting us anywhere. Senseless? What are you trying to say? You're the most important thing here, Finn. Of course, I want to protect you. Epiphany or not, you're not acting like yourself, Sayori. This isn't you. Me? You're the one acting strange around here. You're usually super happy to see me. Nah, I don't. What's gotten into you? Well, it's because I have this watch right here that allows me to turn back time and, uh, of course, prevent something like this. Well, pardon me for not meeting your expectations, Sayori. I can't help it if my stupid brain makes me such a failure. That's not what I'm saying at all. I knew it. This is too good to be true. No, I swear. Without warning, Sayori lunges at me, backing me up against the wall. Ooh, I don't know which one should I turn right now. Like this dinosaur guy or the one who deflects lasers and all that stuff or ones who does plants and fire. I don't know, but not now, not now. And plus, why would I transform right now fighting a, um, a digital or fiction 
a character that doesn't even exist. But still, I am still friggin' mad at her. How about I drive you into the corner and kiss you without a sound? I've got a better idea. How about we don't? Yes, we don't, please. I'm not letting go of you this time. You're finally here with me. We're going to stay like this. Together. Forever. Together forever. No, that's not that's not the right one because this ain't the right Sayori. You said so yourself that you have dreams of this happening. Does that mean you want this? Really, Sayori? Gaslighting me? What? Oh. I shoved Sayori away from me and tried to repeatedly slap myself in a desperate attempt to wake up. Wake freaking up, MC! This is not her! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up already! What are you doing? Stop that! You're going to hurt yourself! No! This isn't a dream! This is a dang nightmare! I'm going to put a stop to this. I keep telling you that this isn't a dream, Finn. You're going to hurt yourself. Whatever works. So is that what I am to you? A nightmare? How could you be so cruel, Finn? I stopped sens senselessly slapping at myself upon seeing the tears in her eyes. Wait, that's not what I... You just called me a nightmare. If that's not what you mean, then why did you say it? You want to get away from me because this is a nightmare. That's what you said. Stop twisting my words. You know that's what- Oh, I'm twisting your words? I know what you meant. Stop it! This is just a big honor misunderstanding. I thought you loved me. Don't you realize how important every moment I spend with you is? How do you think I feel? I guess I was wrong. Calm down, Sayori. Getting hysterical. This is my life we're talking about, Finn. You mean everything to me. You're my life. My world. If this is enough to scare you, just wait. I can show you a lot more. Just picture this for a moment. You fall in love with your best friend. You confess to him. He insults you and tries to run away from you. How cruel can you possibly be, Finn? Do you like seeing me in pain? Are you threatening me, Sayori? Is... Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? <laughs> oh, palps. This is beyond gaslighting me now. Why would I be threatening you? I was just asking what you think. You know I would never hurt you. How could you even think that about me? It's almost like I don't even know you anymore. Well, I should be telling that to you because I don't even know you in anymore. Maybe you're right. I don't know you anymore either. There are days when I wish I knew when to keep my mouth shut. This is one of them. Sayori's eyes widen and she stands there motionless as if she was broken inside. I've broken her heart. I've hurt her. Oh. As Sayori stands there in shock, I break away from her and go straight to the kitchen. Finn, where are you going? Somewhere that doesn't concern you. Leave me alone already. I can't take this anymore. No, stop. You're going to get hurt. I'm losing my fucking mind right over here. Also, sorry for swearing. Still, I am so mad. I don't even know what's real anymore. I've lost touch with the reality to the point if I don't know if the woman with me is real or not. She's not real. She is not real. Remember, remember that I'm here for a reason. I made it to the kitchen and not a moment too soon. I reach for a knife and the rest the blade against my palm. Sayori arrives not long after. Finn, no! Stop! What are you doing? Put that thing right down now! Back off, Sayori. It's something I need to do. You're going to hurt yourself. Or worse, I don't want you to be in sort of pain or danger, Finn. If you're doing this because of me, then please stop. I promise I'll be a better girlfriend for you. Just don't hurt yourself for goodness sake. Oh, there's a hand. I didn't know, but that's neat. Oh, oh. I 
I felt that. Ouch! Oh. I. Uh, ooh, that's gotta hurt. I ignore her pleas for me to stop as I close my eyes shut and rake the knife across my palm quickly. The pain is almost unbearable to handle. I still remember today we all found Yuri often used knives for himself. Harming. Oh. My. Dear. Glob. She begged us to never fall into the same trap as her. Sorry, Yuri, but I know I, I need to do this to see for myself if this is real. Oh, no! No, 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 no! I am not... Even though I am not showing that. Oh, my... Oh my, oh, 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 <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay, that's enough checking in out, that's enough, I, okay, let's, let's just, mm, let's just continue, I don't, no, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I cry out in pain and recall as the knife falls to the floor. I open my eyes and look at my hand. I am surprised to see Sayori gently taking hold of my arm in an instant. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why would you do that? I... I... I had to see if all... if this is all real or not. By hurting yourself? Look, you're bleeding badly. Let's get this cut cleaned up and we can talk about this later. I mean, fine, sure, I really do not want to see that wound ever again, but still. This has messed up. Oh, and now we're underway with the investigation. Alright, um, wait, is there, is there a King, King Crimson mode in this one? I don't know, I haven't seen the, the, the features. But, you know the drill. King Crimson! Okay, I I think I may have skipped further, but uh, I missed that. Well, uh, me and Kotonoha would say, No, no, when we find the other girls, I'm going to dash to the house. I can't follow her right now, otherwise she'll suspect something. Alright, oh my gosh, I hope we can do this. So, I think in the previous one, I think, is that we stick to the original plan to find the girls and... I really- I- I- I should have known! I really should have known! I should have called the police! Dang it! Oh my dear glob, I messed up. I am so sorry guys, but don't you guys worry. I will make things right. I will never back down. A knight will still stay true to his honor and loyalty. There, you're good to go. Does it still hurt? A little bit, but I'm still- I'll be fine. I can't believe he still did that. What's wrong with you, Finn? You're seriously starting to scare me. If this is some kind of revenge plan, I promise I'll be a better girlfriend to you. Just please don't do anything like that again. If this isn't a, if this isn't a dream and everything is happening, either there's a lot of things wrong with me or... Or maybe my, real is, my love is real and you're just too scared to accept it. You should stop talking about yourself like that. Please, stop running away from love, Finn. That stunned, yet pleading look on her face has me in this stupor. I scared her back there. I also seemingly broke her heart before that. Yeah, that's right, uh, the freaking fakers don't deserve true love, but still, I, I messed up. I I'm so messed up. I don't know. I've been so awful to her. It's a wonder she's still here taking care of me after what I've done. Sensing as if my guilt- sensing my guilt, Sayori speaks up. It's okay, Finn. I know you. You would never try to hurt me on purpose. After all, I just want to be with you for the wonderful person you are. At the same time, I want you to be the person I am too. I think I've seen you well enough to know what kind of person you are, Sayori. I'm sorry, Sayori. Truly. I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around this that I feels like I'm losing my sanity. 
It's fine, Finn. I forgive you. Besides, we all have the time in the world to fully understand each other. Don't forget that I'm here with you. Still hesitant, I give her a nod before going back to the kitchen. Let me clean this up for you. You shouldn't put more stress on yourself. As I pick up the knife, I look over to her as she tries to clean up the mess I made. Strange. One moment she's furious with and next she's back to being her usual sweet self. Well, of course, I can assure you this isn't the real Sayori. Then again, I did provoke her, right? I lean against the counter and bury my face in my arms. You've gotten pretty unpredictable lately, Sayori. Maybe I am slowly losing my mind. What? What was that, Finn? Oh, frick my life. Did I just say that out loud? I know better than those dense visual novel protagonists when they say s the wrong things to piss off a girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sayori takes the knife from me, confused and somewhat enraged. You know what? Just kill me already. I'm sick of this. Don't say things like that. Why can't you accept that I just... Why can't you just accept that I love you? Could you say that without pointing the knife at me? I'm freaking me out with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I scaring you? Kind of. What is it going to take for you to understand my feelings, Finn? I know. What? Is it... Do you really have to do that? Seriously? There? Do you see? Now we can be twins with matching scars. Her eyes. Sayori. She snapped. Stop this right now. Don't you see it, Finn? I love you so much that it just hurts me inside. Do I need to go further? No, quit it before you hurt yourself even more. How will I f know you fully understand my love for you then? As I tried to wrestle the knife out of her hands, we're both caught off <laughs> off guard by the sound. Already know that? No, can't be. Can't be. Get away from me, of course. Oh, imposter. He's trying to confuse you. I know which of his is the real Sayori. I sent it aside so I can keep my, uh, my eye on both of them. Alright, I already know all of this happened, so uh, we'll just go through this again and see if it works. The Sayori with the blue bow, the one who's been taking care of me, the one who has given me bad vibes since the beginning. The Sayori with the red bow. As I take one look at her, I feel no negative energy from her. Of course! Positive energy, negative energy. F off! I only feel the same warmth and comfort I always have when I'm around her. There's no denying it. You're right. And I accuse you of being the imposter. That's right! That's freaking right! <laughs> Thank you, time travel! I love you! Uh, I should I should really go for uh, for for one of these sometimes to get things right, you know. Sayori, no, the imposter Sayori begins to speak. The knife clings onto the floor as her, clangs to the floor as her hand trembles. Finn, how how could you? And now it's imposter. Oh yeah, ultimate female imposter. Oh, you are so going down. Well. The imposter Sayori picks up the knife back up and rushes over to me, clenching her free hand around my throat. What have you done to me? After everything we've been through together? I pledged my love to you forever, Finn. You get away from him, you skunkbag. Sayori hits the imposter's arm with her bat, forcing her to let go of me. I hear a sickening crunch as she releases me. Finn, I'm not the enemy. Please, let me be your remedy. Nope, you're my enemy, she's my remedy. So please, f off. I can be your everything. Your love, your companion, your cure. Mm -mm. I think you've already done quite enough. Ever since yesterday, I felt there was something off about you. Now I can see why. I'm not sure who you are or why you look like Sayori, but you're not her. How could you say that? What about the memories we shared? 
Wait, what? You might have her memories, but the real Sayori would never do anything cruel to uh, as to adopt her friends. I didn't think she'd keep anyone as prisoner either. I know her better than that. Don't think I forgot about how you were trying to gaslight me either. I... 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 Shut up! I love you, Finn. What do you want me... What do you want for me to prove that to you? She's completely broken now. It seems as though her only reason for living was to fall in love with me. I denied her of that. She looks at the knife, then at your arm. Oh! Why? Why? He then begins taking swipes around. <laughs> oh my god. Even though I despise her with every inch of my being, but you, you don't have to do that. You already cut your arm in the. Oh my glob, stop it. Stop it, please. What are you doing? Don't you see how much I love you, Finn? I'm willing to leave and bleed for you. Can your real Sayori say she can't do that the same? No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't do that. Yes, I can. Wait, what? But... Okay, minus cutting yourself and slicing your palm. That is just wrong. Don't do that. Because... Because I love Finn more than anything. I want to always make sure that she that that he feels safe and happy as the way he made me. I won't let you hurt him. Uh. Then you will die. The imposter Sayori stops mutilating herself and turns the, the knife on Sayori. She rushes Sayori like a demon with a furious look in her eyes. Sayori holds her bat out. Wait. S Sayori holds her bat out in front of her as she tries to move her way, but she isn't fast enough. <laughs> What? Did she just stab me? What? What? No! I looked down at myself. The knife was plunged deep into my chest, right where my lungs are. I feel my strength giving out on me as I struggle to breathe. The imposter still holds the knife still, and I suffer all, inherently pulling it out of me as my body collapses onto the floor. She just stabbed me! What the f- Finn, Finn, get up! Please get up! I hear footsteps running toward me. It's... Sayori. The real Sayori. She cradles my head as she tries to apply pressure to the knife wound with a towel. Everything's going to be okay. I'm not going to let you... Sayori. Yes? I... love you. I... love you too, Finn. More than you'll ever know. You... you have to get out of here. Away from here. Away from her. I can't leave you here, Finn. I have to save you. You... Already have Sayori. I really do not want to make a joke, but this is like a freaking Luke and Darth Vader moment from Return of the Jedi. More times than you'll ever know. And save yourself from this psychopath. No, I can't do that to you. I love you. I love you too. That's why you need to let me go. You and I know it's too late for me. Save yourself, Sayori. This world needs you. Sayori is trying hard to hold back her tears, but she is unsuccessful as her sobbing becomes uncontrollable. She looks over to the imposter Sayori scornfully before getting up and hesitantly backing away. She breaks onto a full-on sprint as my vision starts to blur. I... I... You were... I couldn't have... No! 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 The imposter cries out in anger as she falls to her knees. Yeah, that's right. Fall down to your knees and suffer. Mm, let the frickin' despair consume you. That's right. F*** you. With the knife still in her good hand, I see her bring it to her neck. Oh, Glob. 
Please. Even so, I... Okay, I may be messed up, but still. I just want that imposter to be gone. Hmm. As I feel myself fade, I hear her let out a cry of anguish. I run over to the house, hoping I'm not too late. I could kick myself for not going with her from the beginning. I should've, but sadly I didn't. As I approach the doorway, Sayori comes full running at me at full speed. Sayori? What's going on? Kota! Fin... He... He... Sayori dropped her bat as she begins to sob uncontrollably. I pull her into my arms and hold to her tightly. I can only guess what she's trying to say. Something so painful she can't even bring herself to say it. Sayori, go back to the house. I need to find out what happened to this imposter as well. Uh, uh, okay. Sayori and I break apart from each other as she runs back to her house. I pick up the bat and slowly walk inside. As I step inside, I take in my surroundings to make sure I'm not walking to an impossible ambush. I try to close my door behind me when I feel a sensation like a paper cut against my finger. I look to see the doorknob with on the inside is covered with barbed wire. So that's what she's planning with this. I proceed with caution to the next room. There doesn't appear to be any signs of a major struggle in this room. Aside from a small table being knocked over, everything seems to be in order. I still myself as I make my way over to the kitchen where I see a pool of bread on the floor. I reluctantly walk into the kitchen and I'm struck with fear by the sight that awaits me. There, on the floor, is Finn lying lifelessly. I try to get closer. Upon closer observation, it seems he was stabbed in the chest with a knife, dying from a fatal wound to his vital organs. I can't help but feel the strangest sense of deja vu as I proceed further into the kitchen. I look down and spot a bloody knife. Then I look to see the lifeless body of the imposter Sayori not too far away from Finn. In the end, she was obsessed by was obsessed with him up until the very end. I can't be here any longer. This, this is too much for me right now. I go back to the living room and immediately call for the emergency services. Then I give a call to my father. Hello? Dad? Sweetie, what's wrong? You weren't here for dinner. Did something happen? Y yeah, you see. I try to keep my composure as I tell him more or less what happened. I recalled the chilling phone call Finn made to me, the missing girls, and finding him to and his captor found dead in the kitchen like some kind of twisted tragic love story. I left out certain details of Sayori's story, considering I find them hard to believe myself. You shouldn't gone into this alone. You should have told me or at least contacted the police if you suspected something. I know, Dad. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wasn't sure if... I can no longer hold my tears. My father gives me a long sigh on the other line. I'm just thankful my little girl is safe. I'm hoping the same can be said for your friends once they've been found. Stay where you are. I'll be there shortly to pick you up, to pick up you and Mio. Understood. The call ends and I practically fall onto the sofa. I fear I hear footsteps approaching. I look to see Sayori and the rest of the Lurcher Club girls, all with tears in their eyes. And the gang is here and... I am so sorry, but I'm dead. But still, I'm still here, but... Let's still go through this first. I get up from the sofa and go to them. Tears in my eyes, I shake my head and signal for them to not go to the kitchen. Then I hug Natsuki, Yuri, and Monika tightly before we go out in front of the house. I meet up with Mio again, one, again once we're back inside Sayori's house. It isn't long before we hear sirens blaring just outside. I tell the other girls to stay inside as I go out to meet with the paramedics and accompanying police. Being the chief's daughter, the police are somewhat familiar with me. 
I'll do my best to briefly explain what happened in the kitchen and more or less led up to the confrontation based on what I found on found and Sayori's reaction. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is uh, Natsuki's trap brother thingy. I don't know. I just watched that one video on YouTube one time and uh, still, <laughs> there, there are like two Natsukis. One we just met earlier and one now is a police officer. That's uh, that's that's uh, that's funny right there. They give a nod as the paramedics pass away with a gurney. Then I go back over to Sayori's house and to await my father's arrival. I put my arm around Sayori, who is still so distraught. I... I didn't want to leave him, but he told me to save myself. He said he loved me and... and... He wanted you to live, Sayori. I should have done something. There, just... There wasn't much else you could have done against that, that demon of a woman. I should have gone, I should have let you gone in there on your own. I should have gone with you and... I can't help but break myself, <laughs> feel myself breaking down again. Sayori pulls me in for a warm embrace. He, he gave you a chance to live, Sayori. A gift of life. I think that's the best gift anyone could give someone they love. I... I just wish he could be here right beside me so I could tell him how much I loved him. I... <laughs> I think he already knew deep down. He said that the last thing he told you that you already saved him, right? Yeah. What does that mean though? Maybe. Maybe he finally felt at peace knowing that you felt the same way for him as he did for you. I wouldn't exactly call that saving him, but at the very least, he was at peace. He can rest now without any regrets thanks to you. K Kota? What should we do now? My father would be, arriving, would be coming soon. He said he was willing to take me and Mio home. Maybe he can take the rest of you all home as well. After this bizarre ex experience, <laughs> totally not a JoJo reference, I think I feel safer that way. Y yes, I agree with you wholeheartedly, Natsuki. Sayori, are you going to be okay? I can stay over if you like. Monica, I know... It's no trouble at all, Sayori. We're all here for you. Besides, Finn was our friend as well. Considering you grew up together, though, I can't imagine the pain you feel. The anguish of losing her childhood friend and her very first love. I can't fathom how painful it must be. I'm so sorry, Sayori. And so am I. Me too. Thank you all. You know what? If we can stay over, Monica, I'd appreciate that. Of course, Sayori. Thank you both. Mio and Koto? It's no problem at all. I'm most likely going to get an ear earful from my father, but I would gladly do it again if it meant helping out a friend. We all gather around for one last group hug as I notice a pair of headlights coming into view. Oh. So, it seems that this puppet was purged. <laughs> was partially successful, if only just by a slim margin. Perhaps she is not as much of a worthless creation as I initially thought her to be, but her demise is rather disappointing. In the end, it was the emotions of the young woman that did her in. Specifically, it was her love that was her undoing. I shall treat this as a learning experience. Should I create another dark doppelganger, it would be wise to be mindful of how much I amplify their emotions, as well as which emotions I entamper with. Bad ending. Courtroom of a Crimson King.